Hi, everybody. Hello there. How are hey. y'all? <laughs> We're trying to get our theme music going right here for you. <laughs> so glad you're with us today. Uh, hopefully this sounds okay. Always let us know so we can correct it right away. And also, are we flipped on the screen or we look right? Because we're flipped for us. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. We love to do bloopers and put them all together. And uh, mm -hmm. we've got about two or three years more of bloopers that we can put into one. And we'll do that before too long. <laughs> Our buddy Mike helps us with that sometimes. He's, he is fantastic at putting that stuff yeah. together. And I think that could be an hour long show for sure. <laughs> do we sound okay for you? And uh, let me know about that picture quality. All right. Hey, we're under a thunderstorm warning. Yes. The it, wind is blowing. I can look outside and see it whipping like crazy. It has been a dark day from day from six o'clock this morning. I got up it's about, about five actually. And it has been dark since. I said, when is the sun going to shine today? So yeah, it's kind of dreary. The wind was whipping around the house and I'm going, wow. So kind of dreary out today. I just wanted to say hello to Judy Cherry there. I think, Judy, you just got a new home. Congratulations. That is fantastic. Yeah. And Danny Blinn, you know, we see so many of you that are loyal and frequent commenters, mm -hmm. and uh, and we appreciate it. Danny just wrote me an email about uh, bike helmets. And, Danny, I, wrote, I responded to you. I hope you got it. And so many of you. There's Linda Sue Counts and Carol. Carol is a, a veteran. And Fran Nader, Fran oh, and her Fran. husband, Simone. Yeah. We visited with Fran the other day. Had a lovely time, lovely afternoon with her. Victoria, you can watch from work. Mm -hmm. Don't, In fact, tell all your coworkers to turn it on. That'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, we've got 159 people watching right oh, now. That's man. great. I want to get 1,000. Whoa. Come wow, on, let's get 1,000. <laughs> Today, I know you. some of you were expecting that show that we promised you, right? The World War II vet, 99 years old. Yeah. He was in the D-Day invasion. Right. He hit Utah mm -hmm. Beach. Normandy. And, and Normandy. And, and I mean, it was a Saving Private Ryan kind of thing. Battle of the Bulge. Fought in the Battle of the Bulge. Liberated a concentration camp. Oh, wow. He, and, he really uh, teared up when he started talking about that. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. Um, and uh, I just want to do it justice. So I didn't mm -hmm. want to rush it mm -hmm. and get it out there. So we will right. do that. Uh, when it's ready, yeah, yeah, we will serve no food before it's time. Is that what they say? <laughs> I guess something like some I some little commercial know. like that. Hey, Cheryl, you retracted your message. Mm. I hope it wasn't profane. Mm. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you about my hair. I've ha I've had a rough time this last couple of weeks. <laughs> Thank you. I'm telling you, I'm I'm trying to work on it. But anyway, did y'all watch the eclipse? Yeah. I, we, we did. We, we put on the glasses and uh, some of you saw on Facebook that little, uh, I don't know what you call it, montage or whatever I put up where you guys sent in uh, pictures of yourself watching the eclipse. And uh, that was fun. Yeah. And I saw in the news today that a lot of people are complaining of eye problems today oh, because absolutely. they they burned out their retinas or things watching. Yeah, but they... you were warned. Holy cow. Hey, thank you. Get in an RV, and uh, I've forgotten your name again. I'm, I'm not what I used to be when it comes to memory. But thank you very much. Yeah, hit that thumbs up. Let's uh, show YouTube that you like uh, what we're doing. Yeah, they're talking about the eclipse. They said if you uh, looked at the sun accidentally or got, got some spots in your eyes, and it should go away in a couple of days. kind of bluish spot, and it should go away in a couple of days. But if it lasts longer, please go to your ophthalmologist. You might need a little bit more uh, uh, help. So we enjoyed that. That was kind of a fun day and everybody all over the country and you know, looking at well, the world, I guess, yeah. looking at the uh, eclipse. That was a, a fun day. We all united. <laughs> There's our sweet, our friend, Sweet Penny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Phyllis always has the nicest comments. Mm -hmm. We have a first question here. Let's read this. Is there an age limit to live in the villages? Yes and no. It's a 55 plus community. Yeah. So 80% of the residents should be 55 or older. Right. Some can be younger, but I think on every deed, somebody's got to be 55. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there are always twists and turns and exceptions, but you yeah. can so, talk about yeah. it, that with an agent. Yeah, Mindy, we're live. How you doing? Valerie Sheely. We had Village. a friend named Valerie Sheely back in Indiana, and they, they moved to uh, South Carolina. 
Yeah. But so uh, this, I don't think it's the same one. Oh, if it is, no. you better let me know. <laughs> yeah, uh, moved here a week ago. So I bet you're just still in, doing boxes. That's a lot of work. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's fun. It's an adventure, right, when you move here? It is an adventure. Where do things go? And, you know, we keep moving things around. We've been here five years, and we keep moving things around. Oh, I think I'm going to like this better in this room now. So, we didn't yeah. have uh, We didn't have furniture. We didn't even have a chair to eat our first meals on. <laughs> We slept on the floor the first night. And, yeah, we uh, did. Mattresses, or not mattresses. It was, we had a blow-up mattress and we had pillows. Here's, here's a question. Um, Faye wants to know about the bond. Is it a percentage of the sale price? No, we don't think so. The bond is figured by the number of homes in the community. So if the fewer homes, the larger the bond's going to be because you have to still pay for the, the things that the bond pays for. And you're dividing it with a smaller number of homes. It doesn't have to do with square footage. Although in a premium neighborhood, you would have larger lots, fewer homes. Therefore, your bond would be higher. Valerie is coming from Colorado. Well, you have a friend that's another person named Valerie Sheely yeah, <laughs> from <yeah>. Indiana. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Ghost Rider wants to know if they allow invisible fences. Yes, they do. Some people yeah. have them. Mm -hmm. Although I... In our experience, and I like to say this, and it's corny as all get out, but that invisible fence works best on invisible dogs. <laughs> yeah, I think they can still get out of those. I'm not, you know. Bruce slept on the floor their first night. Yeah. Hey, yeah, the floors here are concrete, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> Golly, they're all concrete. Yeah, a lot of throw pillows, so. Which I love. We built our own home in 1985 back mm -hmm. in Indiana. And as the years went on, you started getting the floors. <laughs> couldn't sneak up on anybody. <laughs> so I like the concrete floors and they don't bother my feet. No. I don't think. Yeah. But, I, you know, I did have that bout with, with uh, gout. Bout so. with gout. He had a yeah. bout with gout. But he's better. Yeah. So. Victoria, that, that leads me to something I was going to talk about today. She wants to know if they have bulk pickup monthly mm. in the villages. Mm. There's a phone number you call if you have a, like a bed frame or yeah. a chest of drawers, mm -hmm. or an old freezer, or washer and dryer, whatever right. you can call. But last week, we had a big pot, you know, one of those pots that you put plants in out in the yard, right. and it was full of dirt. And I mean, this that sucker was heavy. It's, it had to be more than 100 pounds. He, he rolls it out on a dolly, right? I it took it out heavy. to the front and set it on the, on, the, on the front where the trash bin came. And they came, and they looked at it, and they said, Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're not going to pick it up. No way, Jose. So I I left it another week. I thought, I'll give them one more chance. And they didn't pick it up. Sorry, neighbors. So and I did have a, my landscaper came and got it. But what those garbage men didn't know is I put a $50 bill under it. If they had taken it, they would have gotten $50. What do you think of that? I'm lying. He's lying. I didn't put that under there, but I could have. He, that would have been good. He said, I'm going to go put some money out in that pot and they'll take it in an envelope. I said, they won't see it. It is dark when they come. So they probably would have thought it was trash and thrown it away. So he didn't do it. Thank goodness. And for all questions like that, he wants to know if he puts in his paperwork for a homestead exemption in June or July, mm -hmm. would it kick in for 25? I think that's when it would kick in, but yeah. you would always have to ask right. people over at the right. Tax collector's office. They'll school you on all that stuff. Yeah. Hey, but uh, they are good to work with. Vicky's coming from Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> She's a frequent viewer. Ah. Yeah. Lilia says red and pink looks good on you, Linda. And blue looks good on me. Well, oh. I didn't know what to wear because Jerry put this on first. So I always have to go with what he's wearing. And I thought, well, I don't want a pattern shirt too. We, we pattern you out. So I thought I have to go solid. So anyway, that's sort of the best one I thought would look best. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Time flies on a live broadcast. We don't know how long we'll go today. We'll go no. until it bogs down. How's yeah, that? Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I went to the dermatologist this morning. Yeah. You know, that's that's almost like a club here. You know, you're in this, the, yeah. the, the skin club. Everybody goes. <laughs> yeah. And I went because I, I got this thing right here. And you're yeah. all so kind. Nobody said I had don't a cyclops. Uh, uh, I was a cyclops cyclop. or, a, yeah. or had three eyes or it's whatever. It's been bugging me for like, to, don't touch it. I'll touch it if it I want. It's mine. It's, it's mine. It's always touching it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he's, he struggled the last But well, they froze it today. So it, it doesn't look too bad yet, but it's going to be hideous probably when we do Mailbag Monday. Ooh. 
yeah, you're going to be scabby. <laughs> anyway, yeah, everybody should go and we should wear sunscreen. What's that? That's going to be a good topic right here. Deborah Durr. She says, Linda, your hair looks beautiful. Love you, girlfriend. <laughs> this lady has been complaining. Oh, my god! I even heard some curse words yeah, this morning. It, yeah. We've got a She's not a, she doesn't like the way it looks today. She <laughs> went to the... She went yesterday to the uh, <laughs> beautician. <laughs> and you the, know what? The beauty parlor. We can't talk too much. She watches. She's watching. Oh, she's nice. Yeah. I, I went mean, there and yesterday and we talked and I said, you've been under fire. And so she started looking at the video and wanted to know what happened. Bless her heart. I love her dearly. But she had one piece was just cut and it made my hair look bobby, almost like I had a mullet. So it, it someone... Someone mentioned Y'all remember, it, you saw it. And it was, it was really bad. So then she kept cutting and I'm going, oh, it's really short. <laughs> yeah, but boy. I'm not used to it. The first couple days after I get a cut, I'm not used to it. I have to wait till I wash it too. Because after you dye your hair, you're not supposed to wash it right away because you wash all the dye out. Norma, it looks, it looks okay right now. But man, when she got up this morning, Lord, <laughs> I, I wanted to get out the camera, but I, I wouldn't do that to her. <laughs> She said, I'll take an inch and a half off. I go, an inch and a half. But hey, Arno, thank you. And thanks for, uh, I know you've been trying to notify people down in the Citrus Grove area that mm -hmm. they're resurfacing the roads down there. Oh, with, that's right. With sand and, mm -hmm. and oil. And it's created somewhat of a mess. Wow. But uh, they're doing it to extend the life of the road. So yeah. you, you're in charge of that, Arno, down there. All right. <laughs> we're, we're done with it. Well, I'm glad to hear they're doing that because I they're taking care of everything. I just think this community is wonderful. They're always talk about what we saw the other day on the side of the road. There were 12 or 13 workers putting out straw everywhere. I mean, it was a group of them, 13 of them. It was amazing. I was. I got some really, video clips. I'll yeah, share them on uh, Mailbag yeah. Monday. We can't share anything like that yeah. here. Uh, I can share this though. This is the that veteran I was telling you about, yeah. the 99-year-old uh, that we were going to do the show on today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll have him on soon. But uh, that's what we have to do. We have to hold up stuff like this. Very primitive, right? Yeah. Our Eclipse shirts, we got them from a friend that works at NASA, right, Jim? Yeah, yes, They want to know where we got our shirts. Connections. We had some NAS NASA connections, and mm -hmm. uh, we were thrilled to get those. So we were really excited. Palm Springs wants to know if we have any gay friends. We do. And we do? Yeah. And is I don't know, I've never asked anybody. <laughs> well, you just assuming? Well, I I know there's two lovely ladies in our neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> and they are wonderful friends. <laughs> we don't have a, anybody take a, a quiz before no, we no. Um, make friends. Before so. we talk to them. Yeah, we say, yeah. are you or you're not? We yeah. don't say that. But I, you no, know, I, I, hey, I've never heard any any gay bashing going on down here. No. You know, no, we just no. live and let live, so live. it's good. We, we love all. We love all. Donna says chop and seal. I think she's talking about that sandy thing over the roads. Yes. It's bad for motorcycles because Oh, absolutely. I had a motorcycle wreck about 10 years ago. Yes, did. And uh, my, my tire went out from under me like that. But I've heard that they also said that can hurt your bike riders, too, and it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. A little slippage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Somebody, uh, Melanie, wants to know if I was looking for a home today. Where would I be looking? Okay, fair question. Mm -hmm. If I was looking for a home today, I would look in Dunedin. Our same neighborhood. Lake Deaton. Yeah. Collier. Sanibel. Pinellas. Yep. Those areas are the areas that we like. We love you know how you areas. get accustomed to something and you mm -hmm. really like it? Because everybody thinks they live in the best yeah. village. Yeah. But that's where I'd look. A little more developed, mm -hmm. a few more... Uh, comforts like uh, mm -hmm. Walmart and I like to be around the shopping. Culver's. <laughs> yeah, shopping and I like maybe the shopping. Bells. He likes to be where the food is. <laughs> well, Bell's Outlet and yeah. you can yeah you can get things yeah. Someone so. um, someone asked about um, oh gosh Jerry forgot what they asked. <laughs> senior moment. Oh, manufactured homes. Someone asked about manufactured homes. Uh, a young lady, and I didn't catch her name. She's already scrolled by, but in, in the northern sections of the old uh, the Orange Blossom Garden area, there are some manufactured homes there. Mm -hmm. uh, Plain Fun 42 wants to know, are there normally commercials during lives? We don't see any. Are you all seeing commercials? We have no idea. No, we don't. We don't know. 
Uh, Gizmos Bench, uh, Margie, we don't know how it's going. We got the application in. They said it's going to take four to six months. We're hoping four months. The day we turned it in, though. Yeah. The day we turned it in, she said, you're lucky. We're ordering benches today. Yeah. So we think it'll be sooner than later, but mm -hmm. we'll never know. We'll let you know what we know. And we'll have a, we'll put out the call and we'll yeah. say, we're going to have a meeting over there. Let's everybody show up and mm -hmm. BYOB and uh, <laughs> oh, we'll have a good time. Oh, we will. Yeah. <laughs> so Ed says, yes, commercials. And Sunshine Daisy says, no commercials yet. Oh, hi, Jeff. How are y'all doing? Jeff who? Oh, Jeff. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Jeff came over yesterday and he brought a really cool whole bunch of polished rocks. They're gorgeous. And we're going to give them to the grandkids. It was so Not nice. all of them. We're going to steal a couple. <laughs> the whole Weimar clan came over yesterday. So that was very yeah, nice. Yeah, it was like they're on the lifestyle visit and they're enjoying the villages. So, and you know, there's so much to be said about that lifestyle visit. That is the way to go. So you can see everything. Jose Guzman, Hi, yeah, Jose. he's a buddy of ours. Mm -hmm. In fact, he he made a coffee a special label. blend of coffee called yeah. the Newcomers Blend, and, <laughs> and he gave us some of that. So really nice. And hi, Juan. Hope you guys are doing great. <laughs> Jerry, someone says you. John says BS I BS too much. Hey man, it's my specialty. Yeah, he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice of you to say though. <laughs> Oh, about those, uh, we may kind of backtrack about those glasses, the uh, Eclipse glasses. I put mine in the safe. We have to, anyway, I put them to, to hide for the next 20 years, so we'll have them. But in the paper, it says they won't work in 20 years. It says they will, um, they'll stop working. They won't do as well. So anyway, so you have to get new ones back in, in 20 years, Jerry. But um there are places that you can um, send them to, Astronomers Without Borders and Eclipse Glasses USA. So there was a little article in the paper about what to do with your uh, glasses. So okay. look that up. Debbie Thompson wants to know, when your grandchildren come for a visit, do you plan in advance? Plan. She does. She goes to the grocery. <laughs> and then we get all these juice boxes and, and kid stuff. And, yeah. And... Uh, we want to. We want them to like visiting grandma and grandpa. Yeah, we we plan, we, but we'd like to go to the pool, and we would like to know in advance when we get passes. Because passes, if you go, if your grandchildren come to the villages, you can get passes for your grandchildren to go to the pool or whatever uh, inside the rec centers. But you have to Saturday and Sunday they close at like eleven thirty. So you really need to plan in advance because if they come in the afternoon, you're going to go, uh oh. And you're going to go to the pool without a pass. A <laughs> couple of people want to know, are there height restrictions in the tunnels ah. for golf carts? You know, and, and you know, they're not restrictions. You just can't drive your cart in there if your cart's too tall. Yeah. Uh, but I noticed on that new tunnel right over by the pad for Gizmo. Right. It's big. It's a big tunnel yeah. and uh, anything can go through yeah. there. Yeah. Most tunnels, when I go through, if I have the GoPro on my helmet, I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> down because I don't want to get my yeah. camera knocked off or yeah. Oh my head. But uh, some tunnels, are, especially up in Spanish Springs area, they're shorter, they're tighter. Yeah. We've even taken our kayak through tunnels before and on top of the cart. Yeah, so we did that. And up north it was quite it was it would be it would be tight. I think your your mm -hmm. ones down south are, are bigger. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Some people have ad blockers where you don't have to watch uh, yeah. the uh, commercials Pre or they buy a premium. Premium yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Um, let's see what we can talk about. Well, I've got to go. I'm, I've got an appointment, but Linda's <laughs> going to handle it from here on out. No, you're not. <laughs> hey, who's watching from farthest away? Now, we know we had Vicky from Switzerland. Is yeah. anybody? You can't beat that. That's, that's can, pretty amazing. Nobody yeah. can beat that. No. And while we're waiting to see where you're from... We have been swimming once only so far, but we, we plan to go. We're so busy in the afternoons. Uh, our friend Paul and, and Roxy said their light street lights are on down south of 44 because it's so dark down there. Oh, my goodness. You're having an eclipse now. Oh, <laughs> oh we got a UK person. We got California, Germany. Yay. Bella, you're from Germany. You ask about Gizmo. He's not buried. We have him. We've had him cremated. You want to so. see him? <laughs> 
Well, we did. Um, you know, back home, we lived in a wooded lot and we had a couple of dogs that passed away back in Indiana and we had them buried in the backyard. Uh, we actually buried them in a Christmas box and put Christmas paper around it. <laughs> That's his gift. That's him. He's right there. Gizmos in there. Yeah. So, uh, so we can go have him in our house with us. Pools, the pools, Lilia, uh, Lilia asked um, if the pools are heated and they are to about 85 maybe. Um, so they're very nice, but if it's cool outside in the sixties, you're going to feel a little bit of the cool weather when you, so you stay down in that pool and stay down under. I actually wore my, uh, my wetsuit Monday. It was 60 something and I got too hot. Uh, I, I didn't need it. So uh, I got three piece, three pieces. I got the long legging ones. I got the knee, uh, short, knee pants, shorts, and then I got the jacket. So um, the, the whole yeah, ensemble, the whole ensemble. I had, I like choices. I like choices. <laughs> Judy, does the movie theater have a value day? I think it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. but it is not what it used to be. No, I mean, nothing's like it used to no. be. Those were the good old days. Yeah. You know, you used yeah. to go into uh World of beer for the five dollar burger. Yeah, forget about that. It's gone up. Square One used to have a five dollar oh, burger. Yeah. Yep. that was good. Forget about that. You know, uh, <laughs> forget about that. You know, it, it's <laughs> everywhere. Is everything's going up? Gasoline used to be a dollar, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, Kathy B in the six zero three, which I said yeah. she was from New Hampshire, right. or I said she was from New Jersey, but she's from New Hampshire. Yeah. So thank you, Kathy, for being patient with me. How far is Eastport? Is it pretty pretty far south? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's probably a 25 or 30 minute cart ride from our house here. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least, yeah. There's Pirate for Life, mm -hmm. Pirate Life. Greetings from New Jersey. Oh, Bruce is having a meatloaf sandwich. I love meatloaf sandwiches. I don't like it hot. I, I, it's okay. But boy, I like a cold meatloaf sandwich with mayo. Oh, delish. <laughs> Good for you. Hope Sally's you like coming it. for a lifestyle visit on July 4th. Mm -hmm. It's probably too soon to get a schedule. It usually comes out uh, maybe a month before. So in June, you can probably figure out what's happening in July. Mm -hmm. But there'll be something. And uh, 4th of July, there'll be some events and parades and uh, not a lot in the way of fireworks, but there'll be stuff. Mindy says there's $7.99 burgers on Monday at World of Beer. I know. I know, what? That's what I'm saying. They used to be five dollar burgers. Well, you know, we went someplace the other day, and we went out to eat. And we had ordered a hamburger, and they say, "Do you want cheese? It's going to be a dollar thirty, dollar twenty nine extra." At least they told us up front. <laughs> There's Bella Bond. Bella, you are lighting it up on our channel. You have been uh, the most active viewer, yeah, probably of all time in the last week or two. <laughs> now we will be uh, cruising on the Fourth of July. Yeah, we will. We'll be on our way to Alaska. We will. We so will. Uh, that should be fun. Do we travel all over the villages for entertainment? Miles wants to know. We have, we've we've hit all the town squares, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Today at 2 o'clock, we're going down to uh, Sawgrass if, right. if the weather allows it. Yeah, we might have to bring an umbrella. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're having to get together with some friends down there, yeah. so that's going to be fun. But, yeah, we hit all the different entertainment mm -hmm. venues. You know, for a while there, we, we went a lot when we first moved here. Yeah. Then we kind of tapered off. Then we go and re uh, relatives. But now we're going more often. Time. Yeah, we're now we're back to going again. Yeah. Who's our favorite band? Well, it's tough to beat Rocky and the Rollers. Mm -hmm. You know, they are great. A uh, Scooter, the DJ. He's, you just people just fun. have a ball I with him like up watching. there. I just like watching. I don't get out there. <laughs> Blonde Ambition is fantastic. When when she, when they come, you can expect it to be a packed place. We love the hooligans. The spasmatics are so fun. They usually have these electric nights where people will be all kind of bling, yeah, you know, they're fired. Yeah, so, right. I mean, there are so many great groups. Johnny Wilde and the Delights. Uh, we like uh, Southbound. They're a, a country western group. You know, lots of great groups. Sorry if I left somebody out. There, there are just so many. Uh, someone wanted to know about RV storage. Uh, the Villages does not have an RV storage. You're going to have to go outside of the Villages to find a spot. So but there are plenty of them because we see a lot of RV parks. <laughs> Garrett, I'm golfing once a week or so, maybe twice a week on a on a good week. I plan to do a little bit more. I've been golfing pretty good lately, so it's not so frustrating. There's uh, Maureen. She says, thanks for all your info. Many of the salty comments are rude. Yeah, yeah, we know. We, we noticed know. that. Yeah. 
Fran Nader took us on a tour of Legacy of Leesburg, which is a very nice, beautiful villages type uh, development. Yes, uh, just an age restricted, it's 55 south of here in Leesburg, mm -hmm. and it was it was really nice, very pretty, and uh, lovely homes, and they have a beautiful restaurant right at the entrance called Ro Ro Oh gosh, how do you say it? Rodellos. Rodellos. Rodello. Rodello's. Rodello's. Yeah, we're going to try that out for that for out and about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, when we eat out, we, we don't do it a whole lot, but we like to go to new places. <laughs> so if we want to eat something we know we love, like maybe go to McCracken's or, or Bluefin or Red Sauce, we've already done that. We've already done shows on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try to bring you new places, but we still want to go back to our old places. Yes, yeah, we do. We do. Uh, Rock and Rollers are going to be there a Saturday, the 25th anniversary show. That's going to be a great show. I'm that sure. will be awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, play the ukulele. Were you playing the other night? Mm -hmm. I thought I heard you playing the ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, we like I'm to, no good. He, he is good though. He well, will, I'm not good. I am good. not good. No. <laughs> uh, oh, she has low standards as you all have known for a long time. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Um, um, what you, what you someone asked us if we, uh, do we feed the birds? We do feed birds here. Um, we have a, it hangs from the tree, a little thing. You know, if you put something in the ground, you, you're supposed to ask for permission to have that, to, to dig a hole and put something in the ground. So we've got one hanging from the tree right now. And those birds love it, especially the sunflower seeds. And we get a lot of cardinals and uh, we get all kinds of birds, but we've also drawn in squirrels and they like to get up there in that tree and, and demolish all, all the seeds. And I think we've had a raccoon. Yeah, that pot I told you I threw away out front, I threw that away. It's a big old heavy ceramic pot because it was broken. Uh, uh, evidently a raccoon or a bear or something, something had climbed up on top of our yeah. uh, Japanese lantern. It's made of, of granite. granite. It's, it's Very we, heavy. We imported it years ago. Mm -hmm. And it has a top that's loose, but it's still heavy. It's about 15 pounds. Yeah. Knocked it off onto, Knocked our, it and, off and, onto the pot and so. broke the pot. So... Yeah. We're anxious to see what, we got one of those little cameras that she doesn't have set up yet. Yeah, we're working on it. That's going to sit out there for birds and we'll get motion detector. Yeah. Boom and it'll take pictures of the Hopefully birds. we'll find out. And then onto your phone so we can see what's on our bird feeder. So that's going to be kind of cool, but it's taken me a while to get together. <laughs> what time, let me ask you, what time would be best for a live show? Because like right now we have 477 people watching. We did one once that had over a thousand. So that's what we'd like. We'd like yeah. to get a thousand people watching. When would be the best time, you know, do you think to have a live yeah. show? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> best neighborhood in the villages is where you're living. Uh, we Everyone likes their own village. Um, you just have to come and see which one feels good to you. <laughs> yeah. like, And that, that's a good example right there. That, yeah. that question was kind of asked five minutes ago. And that's the way it is with our channel. People move in now and they're fresh and new here. They've got all these questions yeah. that a lot of you've heard us answer 10 times. So that's yeah. why we can be repetitive. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's why John a while ago said that I'm full of BS because uh, <laughs> I'm saying the same things over and over a lot of time, but we got new viewers. Yeah. Someone said our show should be on at night about seven o'clock. Should we? Or, or six o'clock from six to seven or maybe 8 p.m. You know, or later. No, not later. Well, I'm just saying what Jose said. <laughs> Jose, I'm getting ready for bed at eight. <laughs> if I'm not how about the next others. one we will do in the evening and we'll just see how it goes. Because we're closing in on 500 people, which is good. Yeah. Although we only have 160 likes. So we, we like it when you hit that little thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And like we said, the reason for that is YouTube keeps track of that. Yeah. And if we get a lot of positive mm -hmm. responses with comments and thumbs up and and people donate to the channel. They say, "Hey, let channel. Let's let's reach it out a little bit. Let's give them a little more exposure." So, everything you do like that helps us out. So, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. When will Eastport be completed? Man, they they get her done here. That's they all I can are say. Moving. They're moving it's, on it now. It's moving right along. Mm -hmm. They're moving on it. I'd say this year. Miles, thank you. You know, we just try and uh, we hope we can help as many people as uh, as possible. Yes. We, we got a couple of emails yesterday that just make you feel good, you know, yeah. uh, when people write in and tell us that what one said that they'd been in a rough patch and Aww. and they love to watch us every night and it cheered them up and got them through a tough time. And we love that. Yeah. Jeff, we'll try it in the evening one time. 
someone asked about, do we have uh, worried about uh, dangerous critters uh, when we had let, when Gizmo was here? I, uh, I was a little bit nervous. I would take a flashlight out with Gizmo and make sure, um, everything, especially around the house, because I've heard people say alligators like to get behind bushes. Uh, but now we have new bushes that are really small, so that's nice. I'm glad. But, um, yeah, you would take an, a, a flashlight out, and I'd look for sure, especially okay. when we saw a bear in our driveway. <laughs> well, we, we get the next door pictures of alligators on people's front porch. Okay. Or snakes curled up in a corner. We haven't seen snake. any. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen which one? The coral snake? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to show it on Mailbag Monday, oh, but yeah. one of our uh, people just a couple of neighborhoods away uh, had a beautiful coral snake in their yard the other day, and uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Jose went to Russell Stover's, one of the uh, cool stores within yeah. probably five, ten minutes yeah, a year. We, we haven't been. It's time to, for us to go. <laughs> yeah, you can't take your golf cart. You'd have to take your yeah. car, but what yeah. a store full of goodest good things yeah that, that's a nice store it sure is you're gonna load up with lots of chocolates okay look the beetle maniacs play at friday's 10 to 12. i have told you guys i want to go to that and i plan to go to that fridays and from 10 to 12. at the odell okay. rec center i would love to do that and that's plan tomorrow. to do it and like i told them just keep pestering us until we do it <laughs> yeah yeah you know uh we try to answer all the emails but lately, I mean, honestly, it's it's been a bit overwhelming. I mean, mm -hmm. hundreds. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any employees. I mean, no. <laughs> we just do it ourselves. And, yeah. and we're trying to do it ourselves and still have a good time. Yeah. And, you know, frankly, I'm getting a little pressure for spending so much time editing videos. <laughs> and uh, then I have to answer the emails and comment on he the- He has uh, to do it all. And he says- Well, much it's not that. I mean, I'm just, I I'm just saying, well, I'm explaining to them why- I had a fellow get mad. He actually wrote back and cussed me out oh. because I had not answered his email. Mm -hmm. Well, yep, we did. It's going to happen, you know, especially uh, if I've got other more pertinent things to take care of. So yeah. give us a little patience on the emails. If yeah. uh, And I can't answer them all. No way, no how. Yeah. But I'll try to answer your questions either on Mailbag Monday or through a live show or I'll write back. Just uh, yeah. have a little bit of patience. Yeah. Uh, Bella lost her father a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Sorry for your loss, Bella. I know that's a hard time for you. So I'm glad you're uh, enjoying our shows and we hope we can help you feel good. <laughs> Jose, you're, I think you're right. 7 p.m. for our next live show. And yeah. that'll be 4 p.m. Eastern or, uh, oh, yeah. or Pacific Coast time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll do that probably at 7 p.m. Um how did it, how much did our insurance increase this past year? It increased double. Mm -hmm. So I changed companies yeah. and I got it back down to where we could live with it. Um, that's yeah. the thing, man. They they have you over a barrel, you know, and, it, and it's a lot easier not to change and just make you cough up the money. But that's that's not right. Yeah. We haven't had any claims. Why would why should ours double? So yeah. uh, we we did, and our, our car insurance almost doubled as well. Mm -hmm. Changed carriers. So we're, we're all good and keep hoping that uh, each year we can negotiate it down or change to keep it reasonable. Our yeah. son pays $3,000 a year for uh, homeowner's insurance. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. He pays, he pays yeah. almost $300 a month just for his homeowner's insurance. Mm -hmm. By the way, do you say insurance or insurance or eclipse or eclipse? No. We're Indiana. We we tend to do a little bit of country. Uh, country. Thank you, Bella. We appreciate your enthusiasm. Mindy, we also appreciate your comments. You uh, you have a lot to share, and we appreciate it when you do that. Mindy, where are you? She, she said it was raining really bad right there. Where are you living, Mindy? Yeah, because uh, we don't have. We just it's just dark out there. Are there going to be any more cooking with Linda videos? That's what Cindy wants to know. Yeah, I, do, I would like to do my pineapple upside down cake for you. It's not hard and pretty much it's a, e a recipe that I follow. They probably like to see pineapple upside down cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, meatloaf. We are, oh, you want to see me do it? Yeah, make oh, it. Make the meatloaf make for the, the people. Meatloaf. Make it. I could do it. <laughs> you know what I want her to show you? What's that? A way to make a breakfast sandwich that's every bit as good as any egg <laughs> muffin. It's delicious. I love them. Yeah. She, she has a way to do it. It'd be a very easy I, show. We yeah. could do that. Yeah, I uh, copied that from a dear sister. <laughs> um, which insurance company we switch to? 
Sunshine Daisy, you're going to have to email Jerry that. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I know we switched our car insurance away yeah. from progressive uh -huh. bread recipes. Mm. You know what? I, I used to, we we've made bread before. Yeah. And that's when we found out that it's a lot easier to spend $3 for a loaf of bread mm. than to make your own bread. Mm. It is hard to make your own bread. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. When you come to the villages, I had the question yesterday. Can you refer us, and I, we get this every week, to a grass cutter, mm -hmm. someone to cut an yeah. edge and weed eat and then blow? And the answer is no, we can't do that. Our guy's not taken anymore. Yeah. What you need to do is talk to somebody that lives near you. Yeah. Hopefully your next door neighbors. Get the same guy and yeah. you'll only have that noise and, and yeah. somebody parked out in front one day a week. Right. Instead of every day. And that's what some neighborhoods have yeah. a different guy for every home yeah. and they do it on their schedule. Just ask your neighbors, get together. And another thing, there are lots of people that have their grass cut every other week, every two weeks. We don't think that's enough. You know, it's enough in November and December and January and February and March, but starting in April and May and June, July, August, September, that grass grows so fast. It'll get this tall between two weeks cuts and uh, yeah. you'll want to get a cut yeah. every week then. Yeah. So think about that when you're hiring your, your people. Richmond, Indiana. That's Ann. Oh, hi, Ann. Yeah. Hoosier. Yay, Hoosier. Hoosier alert. We should have a little button like on the radio. Hoosier alert. <laughs> Someone want to know about your cameras and on your bike rides and the cart rides. We use a GoPro. A whole bunch of different things. We use our phone Phones. most of the time. Mm -hmm. We use some GoPros. Mm -hmm. And I've got other, other brands of camera too. It uh, just depends on the situation. And, you know, most of them screw up to tell you the yeah. truth. And Jose wanted to know if there are any uh, radio radio controlled or RC car tracks nearby. That's right. There and are. There, there are some and there's south of 44 near um, Everglades. The Everglades. It's a nice track. Very we, we, nice. We've done some video down there. You could look it up. Very nice. Can you get a grass cutter for partial part of the year? I don't know what the reason would be yeah. for that. Do you plan to do it yourself the other times? Because you can't just let it go. No, you can't just let you it can't. go. But, but you can make a deal with any grass cutter yeah. and, and you know they'll probably work with you. Over 500. Okay, that's good. We appreciate that. You love the cart rides. Man, that's another thing. People love the music. Mm -hmm. People hate the music. <laughs> Linda's too quiet. Jerry's too loud. Uh, oh, yeah. Tilt the camera up. Put, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is tough to please all the people. But that is our goal. <laughs> Someday we're going to please all the people. Uh, website. They want to know the website. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. We would love all of you to go to jerryandlinda.com. Yeah. Now, once you go there, that will have a link to our most recent videos. You can go and see all our Mailbag Mondays. We even have one for cart rides. Will they have my recipe there? And Maybe bike what? rides. I don't know. Did you put it on there? Uh -uh. Hmm? No. Well, I, I guess I need that. to put my meatloaf recipe on there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> put it on there. So uh, that's on the website. But one thing I wanted to mention today is please go to the Amazon storefront. For example, she got a new can opener and she loves it. it was I think it was $15. Yeah. But it's minty green. It goes with our kitchen. We had the other kind before we twist and we had the electric one you put on that rides around the top. But things like that are on there. Yeah. Things that we use with our golf carts are on there. All Cup right. holders mm -hmm. or or heaters or things like that. And if you buy anything at all, even if it's on our list or not on our list, after you go to Amazon through our Amazon storefront, we get a tiny little credit for it. And they add up if thousands of people go. You know, I mean, we don't make much. Yeah. But we get pennies on the dollar. And uh, it won't cost you any more. So yeah. if you use our link, the Amazon storefront, when you get your, you know, your sheets and pillowcases and uh, raincoats and yeah. hubcaps and whatever <laughs> you get, we get uh, yeah. we get some credit. So thank you for doing that. Michael Donaher wants us to say hello to his mother. Hello, Mrs. Donaher, if that's the, your name. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and I wanted to say we got a really nice note today from Captain T and D. They said they were looking forward to our show. So 
So thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. What you look like now? We're going to talk about the movie we saw. We went to see the Ghostbusters recently. If you've seen it, it's kind of cute. Uh, it brings back memories of the old Ghostbuster movies. It had a lot of the same uh, actors in it. Now who are you going to call? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not going to agree with you on that. Oh, no? Dan Aykroyd's in it a lot. Okay. But Bill Murray, who's that's the guy you really want to see, right? Yeah. He's very small appearance in the yeah. movie near the end of the movie. Yeah. So uh, he must have said, "Yeah, I'll come and be in your movie, but I'm only going to be there for two days." So you got to. <laughs> so get he's not in a lot, but can. it's a cute story. Yeah. And it's not terrifying for children. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's full of the same kind of humor that you had in the first right. Ghostbusters movie. Right. It's modernized a little mm -hmm. bit. So we liked it and uh, entertaining. Yeah, yeah, entertaining. That's what Gary says is entertaining. Uh, we saw another one too about an adventure racer with Mark Wahlberg. And yeah, I, we did a review on I that. I loved that movie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're going to go see one pretty soon. I forget what it's called, but I think it's about a girl that sings. Yes, but yes, she's that, from Australia or New Zealand yeah. or something. We'll, we'll probably yeah. do a, yeah. a show on that. But I want to talk about traffic for a minute. Mm -hmm. When do the snowbirds come? Well, our friends that are snowbirds come in October. And when do they leave? Around the 1st of May. Yeah. So we're still in April, so we still have a lot of traffic, but I've noticed it's dropped off a little bit since Easter. Mm -hmm. Some people are heading north already. Yeah. Paul's been plugging his computer because they're getting lightning. Oh. Don't do it. <laughs> Paul. Oh. Come on. Oh, Paul. my goodness. Well, Wait, ours isn't even in plugged in. It's a laptop. It's um, We're streaming. Ooh. I don't even have it plugged in. Well, how's the battery life here? <laughs> All right. And talking about traffic, the roundabouts alleviate some of that traffic. We like the roundabouts. It keeps things flowing. If you're too cautious in a roundabout, you're going to hold everybody up. Mm -hmm. When you get that opening, hit the and don't let cars pile up behind you. That defeats the uh, right. object of the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gary went to the Ghostbusters. He said he thought it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, Margie, I, we don't think that's true, but thank you. Hi, Daniel. How are you? All right. When you all text, are you all texters like this? <laughs> you, are you text. thumb texters? Because we're not. We are, Linda and I are both index finger textures we're very slow yeah so we do a lot of oh uh, thank you daniel does. we he appreciate you watching yeah he that's does. that easy but unfortunately it'll spell things wrong and absolutely do that so don't grade our grammar when we when we respond to you we're probably using voice to text and i think it's a great thing to do but i i think i need to I still need to practice with my thumbs a little bit. Yeah. I remember our son when they first got their phones when they were younger and their teen, teen years, and they were just using their thumbs and going to town on that. I'm going, oh, my goodness. They were very proficient at the uh, texting. Do any of you plan on getting an electric golf cart or an electric car? Electric car. You know, yeah. they say within 2035 or so, some states are going to be requiring new cars to be electric. What do you think of that? And are you going to get one? Yeah. Are you going to get an electric car? They're so quiet. They are very quiet. Our buddy, Greg, he, he likes electric yeah. vehicles and it's so nice to ride in. Yes. But you have that distance anxiety. Yeah. Because you're afraid you're going to go on a trip and run out of battery and then you could be stuck. Yeah. No electric says Norma. Pouring and thunder in Richmond. Now, Richmond, of course, is a city, but a lot of our villages are named after places like right. this. So Richmond is mm -hmm. the first village yeah. south of Brownwood. Right. And it's pouring over there. I can hear it. Can you hear the thunder I'm, I'm over hearing, there? I can hear it. I'm too. hearing it. Madonna just got an electric car. What do you think? Yeah. And they have a hybrid. All right. Some people have electric lawnmowers. Yeah, I think our neighbor did. He did, but mm -hmm. he set it out to the curb and gave it away because it, it, away. it didn't last long enough. He likes to cut his grass three <laughs> times. Yeah. On the same day. <laughs> the battery ran. Oh, thank you, Victoria. She's telling you where you can send your uh, clips glasses to. Thank you. Or your local oh, lab, or maybe your library. We'll see about that. But that's nice to know. Another question I have for you guys while you're answering the electric car question. You're going to get one. Do you take naps? 
<laughs> if you're retired like us, you have the ability and the time to take naps. Do you take naps? Yeah. Steven Peterson has a Tesla and loves it. Yeah. Get this. We did a show. We did. We filmed a show yesterday with mm -hmm. uh, a company that provides road service. They will come and tow your golf cart if you break down. And we're going right. to uh, talk about them mm -hmm. and, and show them uh, in a few week or two. Their tow vehicle is a Tesla car with a bump, with a, with a uh, Reese hitch on it to haul a trailer to, to home. So how about that? Why is it scrolling so fast? That's pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. It's scrolling so fast, I can't see what's going on. Naps is a yes. Yes, whenever I can. Me, no naps. My wife, yes. You know, I can take a nap for about 20 minutes and I'll be fine. But uh, you don't want to take too long of a nap because it really messes my night up. Deb, go get your husband up. What the heck? <laughs> she said he's taking a nap right now. Oh, there you go. John takes naps. He's 66 and loves his naps. <laughs> I do. Man, there's just something about it. And uh, it's three o'clock comes by oh. and all of a sudden our eyes are going like this. And we said, it's nap time. <laughs> power naps. Yeah, power. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And, and remember, if you've been watching, you know that there has been some sort of issue with YouTube. Mm. A lot of people and some of our favorite viewers, and, and it's inexplicable. They've been unsubscribed and they didn't do it. And we certainly didn't do it. No, we can't do that. I no, don't think no. so. Uh, they've been unsubscribed. So please check your subscription. And if it's not hit that subscribe button yeah. and uh, then you will be in good shape and you'll be, you'll know when we put out lives like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't follow us on Facebook, please do that because that's where you're going to get little things like, we published a video that uh, Peter Bernard sent us yesterday right, right. on the resurfacing of the roads down south. That's where we put on the uh, Eclipse video where we had everybody in their glasses, and that's fun. We'll put family photos on there. That's if you will follow us on Facebook. So please do that. That's called Villages Newcomers, Jerry and Linda. Mm -hmm. Please follow us right. on uh, Facebook. That would be great. So, Linda, I've, I've just about run out of things to talk about. How about mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Let's see what they say. There are a lot of nappers out there. <laughs> Norma says she gets unsubscribed all the time. That's crazy. It's so frustrating for yeah, us. Because like honestly, our channel, we have more people watching now. We have more views. We have more watch time. Everything's great. But our subscribers are going down. Then they'll come up and they'll go down. Yeah. We're not getting as many subscribers. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the fence, if you don't know if you're going to subscribe, yeah. just do it. Yeah. You know. What was it? Which was that shoe company? Was that Nike that said, just do it? Just do it. Just do it. Just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> well, listen, I think that uh, we're going to sign off for now. We've appreciated all of you. It's been a great show. I hope it's been a great show. Has it been a great show? I think so. I don't know. But, <laughs> I know uh, it's raining now. <laughs> we do these lives sometimes. You know, it's hard to do two shows a week. Yeah. And come up with it and, and to do them right. And I never just want to throw one out there no. like, no. And not do justice to the, for example, the, the, the card aid people that came and helped us yeah. with a golf cart yesterday, or to the gentleman that we that went through the Battle of the Bulge and D Day, yeah, and we want to do a good job. So sometimes we'll do a live, just to take a little bit yeah. of the pressure off mm -hmm. and uh, and get it going. Mm -hmm. But but you guys are great. We hope to see you all when we're out and about. Yes, and, and please keep watching. And and definitely when you see us and you want to talk to us, just walk over and, and if we're talking to somebody, wait a minute and we'll or join our group because uh, we love talking to all of you, and meeting you. And when I'm at bargains and blessings, or when we're out in town, or just anywhere, just say hello. That's fine. We're <laughs> we're 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 we're, out we're, fine pro with we're it. approachable. <laughs> yeah, we're fine with it. <laughs> Oh, if you liked our video today, our live video, press that like and subscribe and share it with all your friends. Try to get more people to watch. Uh, until next time. It's Rodney the Tall. Hi, Rodney. <laughs> See you when you get here. Now I'm going to very nonchalantly come up here and end the stream.